First off, uh, it's great to be here. What a fantastic community. And, and just to be able to see this many people in a room talking about economic development is exciting. And really, most of you are still awake, so that's even better. We, uh, we sometimes take economic development a little bit too seriously, and there's a good reason for that. But I can tell you it's also exciting and fun. And for anyone who has watched a business make a decision and pick a community, it's just like when you pick a house. I mean, you look at it, and you look at all these other choices, and then you make a decision and you invest really the rest of your life in that community. And that's the fun part of economic development, and that's really what I think all of us need to remember, is there's a fun part of this, and what we're doing is we're selling this community to businesses and jobs, uh, opportunities, because we believe in it. We're here because we believe in this community. So that's the fun part, the part I'm excited about, and what I'm looking forward to working with you on. And I've got a few slides here that the staff put together for me that they scripted, and you notice I didn't bring them up, so I'll, I'll go through them fairly quickly by starting first, um, tell you just a little bit about me. And if you've read the paper, uh, thank goodness I'm not going to repeat what they wrote, um, you know, the, the history of the background, other than to say, that I've been in economic development for over 10 years. Colorado Springs is, is where I really had a chance to learn a lot about how to sell a community. Before that, I was in the military, uh, all over the world, all over the country, and I've had a chance to see good communities and communities that are not so good. Communities that um, embraced development and wanted to move on in a better uh, in a more exciting way, and others that just like to hunker down and just keep things the way they were. And what I see here and what I sense here is a community that really is moving to the next step. There's, there, there's a pause, a determination, you can just feel it in this room, and a desire to make things better. And that's kind of fun. I mean, it's, for me, what I bring to the equation now is, is a fresh look. I mean, you kinda, you're kind of used to each other, kind of know what your relationships are and, and kind of everyone has their place and I get to come in and look at everything and say, you know, why are we doing this and how we, have we thought about that and, you know, here are some other opportunities and I, I really just can't wait to get more engaged with this region and really with the state. I mean, Steve, what he brings to the state is, is a fresh look as well. When he, when he talks about uh, common sense and customer focus, usually that doesn't mesh well with business but it's exactly where we need to go as a state if we're gonna do what we need to do to grow this economy. So I bring a fresh look, uh, some pretty good economic development experience, more on the attraction side. I think attracting is, is something that this state and this region could do uh, even better. I think the programs in place are, are very good, but we need to do some things a little bit different and more aggressively. And then you look at retention, um, I'm not sure we're doing that the way we need to, even as a state. And then, of course, with Greg up here and talking about the university, wow. What a, what a huge asset in this region, the university being here from an entrepreneurial growth, from a research and development growth uh, perspective, and just all the young, bright minds that are right there waiting to work for our companies, if we can just make the connection. And so you look at those three pieces of economic development and how do we as a team move that forward. Let me talk for a second about Target 2010. These are the strategic priorities that were laid out several years ago. We've made significant progress in each one of these areas. There have been reports and uh, updates on that. What's interesting, if you look at the most recently released Brookings report, <clears throat> and the target sectors they recommend the state move forward on, four of those are areas we identified four years ago five years ago, and areas that, that have been pushed forward with some, some effort. And if you look at the companies that we announced in those areas, 3,200 doesn't sound like a lot, but when you talk about primary jobs, and as an economic developer, a primary job is a job that uh, the majority of that customer is outside the region, so it brings wealth into the region. Those primary jobs create a lot of other jobs. That's that multiplier effect. And so when you say 3,000, you're really probably talking 10,000 or some number close to it of jobs. And so that's kind of where we are now, but that's not enough. I mean, unemployment rate of 
12 percent. Got a lot of people sitting at home right now looking for a good job. And that's what's exciting about this group is you recognize it and you're ready to do something about it. Collaboration, I mean, that's, that's pretty much economic development. If you're going to be effective, you've got to do it as a team. Top down, cross boundaries. I have yet to have a prospect or a company say, what county is this in? They just want to go look at the resources. They want to be part of the region. And the region sells itself as a region. It doesn't sell itself as separate entities and subsets. So we've got, as a team, got to work together so that when they look at the region, they're looking at really talking to one, um, entering at one point. And that one point then starburst off and all the players and partners in that region are funneled back to that prospect so that they get the sense that we really are working together. We're not just talking about it. And so where are we going to do that? And it's not easy sometimes. The good news is the unemployment rate is 12%. So just about anything that I do in the next 100 days is going to hopefully make an improvement to that. The bad news is we've got a lot of work to do. And just in the next 100 days, my focus is to get to know you. And you are taking the time here, for those of you who like Thursday night football, missing Thursday night football or portions of it, to talk about where we're going as a region and how we're going to do economic development better. And really with a sense of urgency that I haven't felt in economic development by a community before. Well, we have elected officials top down, we have state representatives top down, and we have a whole lot of community business people and agency organizations that are willing to really invest their time in how do we get this thing moving. And really, it has to get moving. We don't have a choice. Failure is not an option at this point. Too many families are going to have a sad Christmas this year. And our challenge is to make sure it doesn't happen again to them next year. So that's part of that process of working together, uh, aligning our mission as an organization with other organizations in the area to NNDA for starters, but a whole lot of others even ED organizations and offices in the different communities to get in sync to attract, retain, and grow quality jobs for the community. They need it now more than ever. And really, as I, as I finish this up with, with, with the one piece I think that matters, you got to get something done. Talking, planning, organizing, meeting is all really important. But at the end of the day, the person who's out there looking for a job needs us to be successful. Successful as a region, successful as a state. So we've got to announce some wins. And I can tell you, the team at EDON and, and certainly um, NNDA and others are working on prospects now. And there are wins in the pipeline. And progress is being made. We just have to work at it a little bit harder. So um, that's kind of where I am. And thrilled to be here. And again. Um, Thank you for caring this much about economic development. It's going to make my job a whole lot more fun and a whole lot easier. Thanks.